So I'm keeping it real, y'all. Anybody else do this? Go to wash something and realize that they started a load of towels or something two days ago, and they've been sitting in there since then. So I guess they're gonna get washed again. <laughs> oh, I feel like I am totally, this is just my life. So I got this mug yesterday. Isn't it so pretty? Let me get the light. So pretty, I love the little flower peak inside. The greenery is just so beautiful. It's Pioneer Woman for Walmart. What's super ironic is that about an hour before I bought this mug, I cleaned out a box full of drinkware because it didn't fit in my cupboards. I couldn't fit all of my mugs on my cupboards anymore. So what, what's the first thing I do? Go buy a new mug. Of course. Hey you guys, seriously? Like, I want to go live in an all-female commune. This is disgusting. Like, I went to open the microwave. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm basically taking the month of December slow in order to clean my house. Is about what it's turning out to be. Ugh. Oh, I hate boys. I'm on a cleaning roll today. I'm gonna take a few drops of this essential oil and some water and put it in the microwave to clean it up. I am not gonna show you the before because it's gross, but I'll show you the after. Nice and clean and it smells good too. Yay. Off to the next load of laundry next cleaning task and seriously <laughs> this is why I don't go back here like, ever if I can help it oh boys I need to wash their sheets today wish me luck Ugh. hey y'all happy December 14th I so excited I finished my Christmas socks yay I love them um I totally um, had intended and set up the camera and all the prep and all the things to actually make a video of how I do my afterthought heels and for the first time ever ever I messed it up had a huge hole huge disaster and I just fudged it and made it work and they may unravel and be a hot mess but they're done. <laughs> They're done. Um, the really exciting thing about this finish for me is that I had a, gosh, I feel like I'm really close. Let's go this way. Yeah, there we go. I had a personal goal to um, knit over 12,000 yards. And when I say that, like finish projects that added up to more, because I knit way more than 12,000 yards because I don't, I have too many whips, um, but I have finished objects over 12,000 finished yards, actual yards, and I did it. This project put me over the edge. So I felt like that was a really good stretch goal for me because that's the most I've ever knit in one year. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. I have some other goals that I'm kind of working on because the number of whips that I have continues to be sort of a mental burden. So I'm working that out. Today I am opening up the little package of extras. Oh my gosh, I'm already so excited. Eek! Okay, so we have Dark chocolate, super yummy. 
and it says naturally gluten-free. So that's exciting. I, this makes me so happy. I don't know if she put this in there special for me or if everybody got this, but this makes me so happy. Literally dying. I have almost bought this pen. I can't even tell you the number of times. See that? Literally dying. Because that's me. I'm literally dying. Oh, come on, focus. If I can get it without the glare. Oh my gosh, on like a sparkle background it is amazing. Oh, it's a sloth sugar cookie wearing a holly bow tie. <laughs> yes, another, oh my gosh, and there's a coupon code on here. Okay, I won't show that to y'all, but that's exciting. Um, some tufted woolens, spiced pear cider. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Tufted woolens. And stitchable ornament from Katrinkles. So that's really fun. And it's a moon because it's a lavender loon kit. Can you see that? Will that focus? There we go. So it's got the holes. I may do that today. That would be a fun little activity. Have to decide what color. Very fun. Well, that was exciting. A lot. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this <laughs> and all of it. Um. Okay. So what else is going on? I am. I am working away on this second sock. I have a quota every day. <laughs> is that weird or what? I've given myself a knitting quota. I have to do, because if I do one stripe a day, then, then I'll be done in plenty of time. Because this blue stripe and I may finish up this blue stripe today even though that would give me two stripes today and I did two yesterday because I did the gray and the orange or the red so I'll probably finish up this blue stripe today and then I start the ribbing so it's the 14th I mean that's totally plenty of time so that is a gift for a kiddo that's done and then that means that both of my kids will have a pair of socks to open for Christmas just so exciting. Um, you're gonna have to excuse, I'm super blotchy. Um, I just, you know, you gotta go take care of the stash every now and then. Had to do that today, you know. So I'm nice and baby soft right there, <laughs> right now. <laughs> also the eyebrows. Um, my best friend is getting married on Saturday. And I'm in the wedding. Uh, there's only 18 people invited and basically everyone that's invited is in the ceremony somehow so and i'm the only person standing up next to her so it's kind of important to look good also you know i'm really vain <laughs> usually so i had to go get the eyebrows done so i feel a little red in this area and in this area <laughs> is just hell being a girl sometimes, right? Am I right? Um, yes, okay, so anyway, back to the sock. I'm quota knitting it because I wanna knit on so many other things, but this has to get done. And so that way it doesn't like drain all my energy and all my fun for that. And then I just, I have several things right now that like every day I'm sort of like give myself a goal and do a certain amount of it every day. Um, I'm really also getting close to casting on something else. I think I'm going to finish that sock and then I'm going to let myself cast on this shawl. I found the most amazing project to knit it and I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it 
here somehow. But it's by um, Northbound Knitting, Lisa Much. And it's a one skein that easily looks like it could be knit until you run out of yarn. And oh my gosh, it's going to be so fun in this yarn. Cannot wait. So I think that's it, guys. See ya sometime. One of my favorite things to do for leftovers for lunch is just make soup. And this is just soup for one. So I cut up a few carrots, um, the little mini carrots, you know, those. I just cut up a few of those. And um, I'm going to just sort of cook these, I don't know, for a minute or so. I put in a tiny bit of broth just to um, kind of keep the bottom of the pan wet so they don't burn or stick. Um, I just do that sometimes instead of oil. And this is just vegetable broth that I'm using. So I'm gonna let those kind of cook. And then I'm gonna come over here. I have some leftover chicken breast. I actually have some refried beans. They're vegetarian. I made them homemade, so I'm gonna use probably not all of that, maybe just some of it, but that really will thicken up the broth quite nicely. Um, and then I have some leftover rice, I think, um, that I might put in that soup as well. And that will be just sort of like a chicken and bean and rice, yummy little soup for lunch that's fresh, but it's using all leftovers. Next time, we'll see you Bye. something <laughs> night I'm already sitting in bed because it's been a day but I just am popping in because it was a good day it was a busy day lots of cleaning lots of downtime which is sort of what I asked for but it's very strange to have that much time not allocated to business when I'm in the house. Um, I just put the um, January pre-orders up. I put them up a few days early so that um, if you're out and about and, you know, sort of sympathy shopping for yourself, you can do that. Also because um, there's gonna be some other things happening at the end of the month in the shop that um, I wanted to get these kind of ahead of that. So stay tuned. Um, but right now I am going to be doing some knitting and watching The Queen on Netflix, which I love, and having some tea. It's my messy nightstand, but I've got tea and knitting and my this has just sort of become my bedtime shawl. I sleep in it, literally. <laughs> literally sleep in it. Um, but yeah, so face is washed. No more pimples for me. This one's enough. Thank you. <laughs> Hope y'all had a great day, and I will check in with you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.